folks, main man, like he likes to run. <clears throat> Isn't Merc tied? That's right. I hope you guys are excited for that. I know I am, at least for the time being. Like I said, my name's uh, Lance. More importantly, my screen name is Major Riot. That's Major underscore Riot underscore. That is my screen name on. Twitch, YouTube, MGO, MGA, and Twitter. So you're watching this live on Twitch. Please are following. Watch this on YouTube. Please are subscribing to this video a thumbs up. You can also follow me on Twitter for that X Bluebird action. That's right. Follow Major Riot on Twitch and Twitter. And subscribe to Major Riot on YouTube at a low cost of free. Don't delay. Do it now for a guaranteed outburst of rage, confusion, and even sometimes joy. Um, but uh, as you can tell, uh, I always have a disclaimer. I am not responsible for your sudden increase in top deck only lands being wrecked by Ragman or being unable to find your sideboard cards. That starts happening to you. That's nothing to do with me. Gotta put that out there. Um, but as you can tell, I also enjoy playing Magic the Gathering, although to watch my videos, you would never know that. And when I do play Magic, I do prefer to play Modern. And today, this week, I am playing Is It Merc Tide? Because there's a new card in the deck that's been banned for, I think, 12 years or roughly, right around there, maybe not that long. But preordained, I figured I'd give it a try. Have some confusion fun um, and other things. But let's take a look at the weather. Uh, things have really cooled down, but they have gotten real smoky. It's something that people, uh, not on the West Coast, generally don't ever experience in their life. Weather rating no conditions are fair with the temperature of 75 degrees. The wind is blowing from the Northwest at two miles per hour. And the current humidity is 44%. So there you go, weather for rain. So what is the uh, air quality out there right now? Let me look here. Uh, only a hundred, a hundred and two. So that's not too bad. That's unhealthy for sensitive groups. It was when I uh woke up today. It was one seventy four, which uh the highest I've ever seen it for bad air quality was literally it was like almost five hundred. It was the worst air in the world. From we get this smoke from wildfires, and there ain't a wildfire around me. It's just literally there's so many fires on the west coast from Washington, Idaho, Oregon. Uh, California, Montana, um, that it eventually just destroys the air quality out here every year. Um, but it's not been that bad this year. Like I said before, there's been years where it's like, man, you you get, look, it's never day. It's always night because in the middle of the summers, it's just so much smoke. But anyways, let's see here. We are still at 52 followers on uh, Twitter. We're still at 330 followers on Twitch. We're still at 553 subscribers on YouTube. So shout out 52 followers on Twitter. Shouts off 330 followers on Twitch. Shouts off 553 subscribers on YouTube. And of course, a massive shout out to all four of my Twitch subscribers. It's gonna be a little bit of the hard earned money in these very trying and dangerous and smoky times out here. And uh, you know, you can watch anything else for free, but these people that are willing to go above and beyond the Call of Duty are uh, just amazing. I appreciate anybody who watches any of this, but I always gotta particularly have a large, massive, robust shout out for those who are willing to contribute financially. Thank you so very much. So yeah, it's a rare deck. You guys have only seen me play this one other time or one session before. Uh, Murktide, Regent. Um, this deck is very challenging for me to play because I'm not very good at blue spells. I am a uh, believer in black and red and green, but not so much blue and white. Um, we're gonna see how it goes. You may notice the deck looks a little different from the last time I played it. Uh, last time I only had two Ring Rage Chandlers and um, and three Murktides. Now I've got two, three Ledger Shredders, just four Ring Rage Chandlers. Um, the sideboard, I, I hate sideboards like this, but the way we're gonna do it. A couple other cards I've never played with before. I've never played with Stern Scolding before. Cre counter target creature spell with power or toughness two or less. And it's a fool of a two. Fool of a two. And only 17 lands. I've never played with a deck with so few lands, um, and that's all because of considers and preordains. Um, you know, you're supposed to be able to filter through with the mistress baubles and everything. We'll see how it goes. I didn't do too good with this deck before, um, but that doesn't mean I won't be able to do well again. Sideboarding will be challenging. I'm not really into siding with this deck, but we'll see how it goes. But uh, in other news, uh, the Mariners. For those of you who enjoy MLB action, the Mariners swept those dreaded Astros. Uh, very exciting. The Mariners now only a half game behind the Astros for the second wild card. Still, we have a half game lead over the Blue Jays. Uh, today and for the next few days, they're playing the Chicago White Sox, which has been a really disappointing team the last few years. I remember people thinking they were going to be good, and they've just not been good at all for years now. And uh, so that's... Uh, 
you know, uh, what I mean by the Mariners playing a team, like they just got done sweeping a good team. Now they got to play a bad team. So I'm always concerned that once that happens, they'll lose to the bad team, right? It already happened once this year. They lost a series to, uh, I think it was Detroit. And, uh, you know, I thought the Mariners were done. Like, wow, they lost a series to Detroit. They've been struggling against the good teams. They can't beat the Tigers. But uh, luckily I was wrong. And, uh, you know, things are things are looking good for the Mariners right now. They just got to keep on winning. The whole thing in baseball is winning series. Can you win series? And they've been doing it. They haven't lost a, They lost one series recently against the Orioles, and the Orioles are super good. We lost all three series against the Orioles this year. Um, it sucks we had to play them three times. You know, we went, what, three and six against them? Rough. All right. All right, well, before I finish decide to keep our mole, this hand out to reveal my beverage today. And, folks, this is the end of an era. What am I talking about here? I'm talking about this is my last of this. It's been a great summer with this flavor, but I am officially out after I drink this one. What am I talking about here? I'm talking about a 12-ounce can of Mountain Dew Summer Freeze. That's right, my last one, guys. Let's take a good last look at it because I really love the can design. And it's kind of a perfect fitting because it's is it colors, blue and white. It's just, you know, this is a quality beverage. I hope you got your hands on it at some point during the summer. But this is my last one. And, uh, you know, I'm going to enjoy it. So let's all, uh, we all know the official start of the video is I'm getting a crack on my beverage. It's going to happen right now. Here we go. You guys ready? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So good. Okay. Um, so this is one of these one landers where I wish it was a fetch land because it would give me even more info with the mistress bobble. The idea behind this, from my understanding, is now you have so many one mana cards that can help you. I mean, scrying two, then drawing a card is insane. I'm going to try it, guys. I'm going to try it. I want to test this out. What is happening here? Glimmer Void Tormod's Crypt? What? Uh-oh. This must be, uh... This must be that damn... Uh, Ancient Stirring. This must be, like, uh... Affinity or something. Sword of the Meek. Well, I found a land. So I think now I do like play like canal preordain. I don't know if I've ever scribed more than Okay. Put on bottom, put on top. I like Ledger Shredder a lot. And, uh, yeah, I guess say go here. Because I want to do Ledger Shredder, then Mistress Bobble. Next turn. I gotta remember I got force and negation in hand. Connive action here. Uh, hmm. 
I'm not gonna put the land in the graveyard. I'm gonna put the unhold or put the lightning bolt in. Yeah, I guess I'll put the land in. It's kind of stupid. Take a look at what they're drawing. It's another Urza saga. Reordain. Okay, let's. I guess expressive iteration. To hand bottom exile play this I'll put consider in graveyard. Swing for two. And I'll be honest, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh. You pithing you only mistress bobble? Yeah. Sure. Okay. All right, let's draw and discard. Uh, I guess I'll do Ragavan. Surveil, that graveyard. Uh, put them both on bottom, I guess. Uh, swing for three. I haven't found any more lands. I have no idea what to do, by the way, guys. I, I have no clue how to play this deck. Like, it's just kind of worthless here.
I have no idea what I'm doing. I mean, you're going to be hearing me say that all the time. Like, I literally have no clue how you're supposed to play this deck. And this is why I don't play Merc type. I figure I'd give it a try against this Preordains out. But I just, I don't know at all what I'm supposed to be doing here. You know, I just, I really don't get it. Uh, I think I want to bolt here. Put a shredder in the graveyard. Playing on holy heat. And then just pass. So amazing how guys just win games off Urza Saga. It's like crazy. It's like I'm a fat dumb fuck. Let me play Urza Saga. I mean, basically that's what a lot of people play the card as. You know. What? I have no idea. I have no idea what to do with this deck other than then just lose. Like, I have no clue. Like, I am so confused and lost trying to play this. Like, I have no idea what any of this is. Like, every card I'm looking at, I'm like, I don't know what this card is. I'm not quite sure how to play this card. I don't know how to play that one, but, you know, I mean, what do you even side in? Yeah, I mean, uh, they're really bad challenges. This weekend, you know, I mean, a lot of people, you know, would have, you know, given up on magic by now. Uh, I don't think I need. I don't even know how to, I don't even know how to side here. I don't have a clue. Uh, I think I can take out the Ragavans. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, I don't know. Maybe a couple lightning bolts. I only leave it with nine creatures. I have no idea how to play this deck. I'm just going to go with that. I have no idea how to play this. Um, I just, I don't know what's going on. I don't think they have graveyard stuff. I'll keep here. Just give the engineer an explosive. You should be good against Sword of the Meek most of the time. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe that's wrong.
Cast into the fire. I guess put in the graveyard. Put in the graveyard. Another different land. Uh, swing for one. I seem to really struggle with getting delirium. I remember playing this last time. I I very rarely ever got delirium. It was very strange. Like you see people get delirium sometimes on turn one. Um at the 20k I went to, I, I exiled the guy's graveyard and he like immediately after that turn, he had delirium again. And yet I'm always just struggling with delirium. Like I usually have like two card types. I can cast in the fire that. Jesus. Uh, let's go. Let's go hand, bottom, exile. And then next turn, try to play. The inured explosives on one. Okay, <laughs> like now my inured explosives is terrible. Now I wish I had that lightning bolt. That's bullshit. That's crazy. That's so bad. That's absolutely nuts that happened. Because <sighs> they'll make three one ones. Well, I mean, I guess the first thing to do is see if I can't find a lightning bolt here off this. No. I have no idea what to do. I don't have a clue. I mean, it wouldn't even be a, a trade here. I mean, they get three for one. I mean, just what in the world is going on? I guess I need to save this now for... Um, for... Um, You know, it would be great as a Blood Moon. I mean, a Blood Moon would be devastating for the opponent. But I can't seem to find it. Grinding Station? I think I'll counterspell that. Gotta find a lightning bolt for that thing. I wonder why they didn't attack. Oh.
Bell Pierce. This cast of the fire is also kind of good against these, but I'll probably have to use it on this. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I cannot find... Um, I cannot find a lightning bolt right now. If I had a second injured explosives, yeah, I, I'd use it. Use it for one, kill these, and then use the next one for zero, you know? But that's just not in the cards right now. Do I spell pierce a mistress bobble? I don't think so. I think there's better things to spell pierce than mistress bobble. Yeah, like that. Uh, they can pay the two, though, so I need to counterspell that. Like, that would be an absolute disaster. Can you imagine that resolving what's happening on the field here? I'm ready. If they got their own counterspell or something, I've got a spell pierce. They know i got a spell pierce. They didn't know about this second other different extra counter spell though so that probably got him pissed pyrite spell bomb i i'll counter that too Now they swing with their 2 2. All right. Let's put it into the graveyard. So exiling with Cast of the Fire won't make one. Hmm. Well, they do have this. So I think I need to actually exile that and play Murktide. How much mana? I need to get five out of there. So... Yeah, I got enough to make this thing an 8-8. Eight, eight. Um, yeah, I need to exile that. So let's do that. Oh. I can't believe I'm exiling Aether Spellbomb. So I have to get that off the field for the Murktide. Right? Yeah. Or is that too stupid? I'll get it off. And then I think I should put this on for zero as well, right? Cast for zero? I mean, what the hell? Why not? I mean, I'm letting them know that I'm ready. These do not have flying.
Puts it on that? Why? That's weird. Those are all pretty good. I can't find a creature. Um, let's go hand bottom exile. Let's play this preordain. Oh, those are both pretty good. I'm going to say top, top. Okay, hopefully this works right. Top, top. Okay, good. I did draw it. And then Blood Moon. Now they can cast artifacts. Actually, I should have put that on bottom. The, uh, the, um, Dragon Rage Chandler. Yeah, it's a four or five. That was a mistake. Uh, we cast this. And I think I'm okay to swing here. I mean, I can... This is, what, seven damage? And I can kill, hopefully... I mean, I gotta get to swing it eventually. Maybe that's still wrong. I just want to kill this thing somehow, and I can't find a way to kill it. I'll try. Me to five puts them up to fourteen. If I block, I go down to eight. They go up to fourteen. What are the odds I have lightning bolt? Yeah, I guess I'll take it. See what happens. You never know. I have one card left. Gotta find I already use cast in the fire. Probably a land here. Oh, that's not a land at all. That's pretty good. Uh put that in the graveyard. Uh I like these. Uh hand bottom exile let's just take care of this now uh, 
Uh, sure, I'll put that on top. That way I have another blocker. I will cast Preordain. I'm going to leave this on top again. Uh, bottom, top. Draw that. Swing for 11. Play Dragon Rage Chandler and hope that's enough. Double bolt from the opponent. Two lightning bolt. It's happened to me before underneath Blood Moon. All right. All right I got to play faster. I'm really bad with this deck, but, you know, what can I say? Um, still two lightning bolts in. Blood Moon sure was good there. <laughs> Man, who says Blood Moon isn't good? Uh, I was have to mole. Cannot keep zero landers. Allegedly can easily keep one landers. Again, where this is the problem when you have a deck with 17 lands. Okay, we got one, guys. Um, spell Pierce. God. An expressive iteration on bottom. Just keep everything I know I can cast. You know? Springleaf Drum. Okay. I just need to get a land out so I can play this Chandler and start filling the graveyard. Like, I know the, the cute play is to always go, uh, you know, play the Mistress Bobble first, so we can decide if you want to keep on top or bottom. Uh, put in Graveyard. Look at them. There's a Pyrite Spell Bomb. That sucks ass. What do I have in there? I need to get a creature. Creature or Sorcery. Look at that. There we go. Delirium on turn one, baby. Another different Chandler. Oh, because this is an artifact land. This is a path to exile. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to be able to kill this, please. Haywire might. Okay. Draw two cards. Woo, there it is. Unholy heat. Get out of here. Keep that on top. I need that. All right, swing for three. Yes. All right. Okay. Uh, I got to do like, I go, you know, I mean, even Blood Moon won't work here because I can just turn this to green. Um, 
So yeah, we do this first. Put engrave. Uh, put on the bottom. Put on the bottom. Ooh, lightning bolt. Love it. Bolt that. Uh, put engrave. I don't know. Alpine Moon. Like, I so badly want... I mean, yeah, I just gotta play it, right? Like, I'll play a Dragon Rage Chandler. Yeah, that's all Pioneer is, man. It's just straight-up combo all the time. Uh-huh. Uh, that's going in the graveyard. I don't even know why I left that in. Uh, we can put that on top. There's a saga. And then swing for three. Ah, I shouldn't have put that on top. What am I doing? This thing's going to survive that because of this. Oh, wait. No, it won't. It won't survive it because it'll just be a 6-6 six -six still. Now, never mind. Fuck. They had to draw a zero mana artifact. Okay, I made a terrible mistake now. I do have expressive iteration. So this, this I mean, what the fuck, dude? God damn it, I'm so fucking bad. I think I just die, right? Got a block there. I go to 10. I don't really have an answer here. Oh, wait, Jesus, you're right, dude. Neuron, thank you so much. I forgot that I can just kill this with that. All right, good call. X is zero. Uh, put in graveyard. I don't think I can kill this guy fast enough. Oh, my God. Well, that's probably the end of the game. Try and get haywire, Mike. Well, 
Fuck, how do you play this shit? I have to kill this thing. Like, that's just what has to happen here. I have no idea. Put it in graveyard. Uh, put in graveyard. Uh, hand. Uh, bottom exile. Swing for three. Oh. All right. Lol. Lol. <laughs> it's over. I can't win now. All right. Now I'm trying to care the time. Uh, put on top, I guess. Draw it. Hopefully, I, I don't think I just got off delirium there. No, I still got it. I can't win this. I'm just, I'm too slow at this deck. I just, I don't know what I'm doing. I literally, guys, I have no clue how to play this. I just don't understand how this deck works. I, I'm so bad with blue magic. I just don't even have a clue. Like, I'm just so lost whenever I'm playing with blue magic. I just, I don't know what cards are worth playing. I don't have a clue. I, I don't know what to do at all. Like, I just, I don't know. Like, I can't figure out what card to play. This deck is, like, incredibly stupid, yet incredibly tough to play. Like, it, it's such a weird combination of just... I'm just going to concede and just save time. I just don't want to play, you know? I mean, this deck is just so stupid, yet so good. Like, you just... It, it just feels like you're not even, like... You don't even go in with a strategy with this deck. This deck is just... You're just casting cards. You're just randomly doing things, and... You know, maybe you can get there, maybe you can't. It just doesn't feel like a solid deck. But I know it's super good and everything, but I just I don't understand the concept. It's like you're just running through cards, and you're hoping you pick the right cards. It's just random shit half the time. Expressive iteration, it's a two-mana card. you got to wait till turn three to play it. And it's just all fucked. It's just, man, fuck me hard, and fuck me hard as you can, dude. Just come on. Please. Fuck just so weird to play this shit it's just nothing makes sense like most decks like i know mid-range like i'm really good at like jund ponza rakdos mid-range style stuff but this is just strange ass cards like you're like i don't even know how like what your like true win condition is other than the most basic idea is you have an 8-8 flyer backed up by counterspell I think that's really all the deck is supposed to be, right? But, like, to get there is so weird. You just sit there just churning through cards, and you just you don't know what to do. Like, nothing's explanatory, like, at all. Like, just, man, what the fuck? Let's see what they're drawing. Give me a clue what they are. Preordain. Old Canadian deck? What the hell is Old Canadian deck? No, I did play Legacy Delver, and it was the same problem. I had, but that was even more, that made more sense to me than anything else because you could flip Delver easily on turn two. Like that, that was easier for me than this. It was like, oh, there we go. <laughs> There's something good. 
you know. Here's my 3-3 three, three on turn two that's flying, you know. I mean, I can get behind that. It doesn't seem that easy here. I mean, the I mean the best play is always Ragavan, right? I drew another Mistress Ball off the Mistress Ball. Well, that's fantastical. Now, I have no idea. The only thing I know that's from Canada that, you know, do I want to have this? No, I, I don't. I have no idea. What the fuck? I guess a Spiral Bluff Canal is coming in tapped, huh? I guess I'm fetching that fucker away. It's what? I, oh my god, what happened there? Dude, I deserve a refund for this league. What happened? What the hell? <laughs> How is that even possible to get this smart? That was the fourth one. It shuffled it back to the top? What? It was the top card and I shuffled the deck. What? Another land? Bruh. Bruh. Help! Yeah, I mean, here we're just counterspelling each other, right? We're just sitting here waiting to counterspell each other. You know, I mean, we just wait. You know, you just hang on. Just hang on here. I think their hand's a little bit better than mine. I'm just saying. That's insane. I can't believe that happened. That's the last Spiral Bluff Canal, too. I saw it. It said, oh, I'll shuffle this away and still drew it. It's another different extra land. What the hell? What the hell just happened here? No, oh, I don't want to. Yeah, I want to do this. Play Murktide. Is that is that all five in there? Okay. Oh, wait. I should leave. No, can't. Undo, undo. Get another island. That way I have another card still in there. There we go. Now I'm ready. Uh, yeah, I'll just take out these ones here. It's a 5-5? Five, five? Well, I mean, I can counterspell. Right? It's not like I'm doing anything, man. Look at my hand. Like, I'm literally sitting here doing nothing. My opponent has eight cards in hand. Right? I mean... Yeah, well, I mean, what am I going to do? Just wait the whole game? What's this guy's name? Chinese Mustache? I mean, yeah, we do it. Yeah, there's no hope. I mean, what could I do? <laughs> I mean, what could I do? There's nothing you can do, you know? Like, my whole hand is lands. I mean, there's just... It's just nothing. Just nothing you can do. I mean, I just... I'm so dead. I guess I'll dash Ragavan at him, right? Uh, 
All right. I don't get this deck at all. Like, I mean, this deck's supposed to be really good, but I've never done well with it. It's always so lost and confused. Just like, what am I trying to do here? It doesn't help that I have this many lands in a 17 land deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just have to wait. Just why even play the de the damn deck then? I don't want to wait. You know, just I th this is horrible magic to me. Just like sitting here, just like you know, just waiting to die. I mean, basically. It doesn't help that I drew this many lands. Like, just straight up, that many lands. You know? It's just pretty bad. You know? You just, you feel like shit. You probably look like shit. You know? Just always, you know, right on the edge of, you know, dying. Just curiously waiting, you know... Another different land that's all three steam vents in hand. Um, yeah, we just play that tapped and say go. I mean, this is quality gameplay here. This is what I sign up for. A 17 land deck. Have all four spot wolf canals, all three steam vents, and two of the three islands, I believe, in my deck. Right? And two fetch lands out. That's uh, 11 out of 17. There's only 19... 19 cards out of deck. Am I reading that right? No, I'm, I'm good. I'm just trying to figure... I mean, I don't plan on... I don't plan on playing this, you know, competitively. I'm just trying out preordain, see how it works. Uh, I mean, it's good. <laughs> yeah, there's no way to say it's not. It's just, you know... You don't understand. I play any magic deck. You could put seven lands and I'd somehow flood. It just doesn't matter. I'm always mana screwed. Story of my life. I've literally actually had violent nightmares. I actually have had violent nightmares about flooding. Like, I've actually had that, like, multiple times in my life. There's another land. Thank God I put this one in the graveyard. All right, we're getting somewhere. We're starting to move. Starting to churn. Uh, yeah, you get to draw and discard. I mean, there's just absolutely nothing I can do. Just, I gotta play cards. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what else to do. But yeah, I've had severe nightmares, you know, about it, you know. I mean, just just in, insane, like, nightmares about it, where it's like I'm close to winning, like, a major tournament, and... um. And they find my lightning bolt. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, it's just horrible, you know? I mean, I've had I've had severe nightmares about it where I'm close to winning, like, a very major tournament. And I, like, have to mull down to, like, one card just to not have a mana issue. And or I only top deck lands. I mean, it's been really bad. I mean, it's why I don't really want to play Magic sometimes because it literally stresses me out so bad that, um, that I struggle a lot of times to... Um, you know, to, to handle the problems. I have no idea how to side anything. Like, just nothing makes fucking sense. It's like, every card here is pretty good. I guess you want to take out, like, Ragavan, right? Because this ain't going to get through. Um, Unlicensed Hearse is probably good. Um, Stern Scolding's got to be good, right? Power... No, that's not good against uh, Ledger Shredder or Merc Ties. That seems bad. What about Spell Snare? Mana value two or less. That one's good. Um, subtlety's got to be good. Fury's got to be halfway decent. And a Fluster Storm, maybe? It's 
Bluster Storm good? Probably not good because they'll just counter it back, right? I I guess I'll go with this. I mean, this is. I I swear I've seen enough of this. Um. You know this mirror match when this deck was like super popular and it was like literally everywhere. Um, this is a hand where you kind of want to keep it right because you can consider preordain. You know, I mean, is this worth playing? A basic island. I just don't know. It's so confusing because you only have seventeen lands, so the odds of getting two lands in hand are relatively slim, right? If you go like. You just just want to keep this and then like preordain. I would assume since I'm going first, you gotta you gotta preordain first. You go like this, preordain. There we go. Um, I already got a Mistress Bobble. So yeah, bottom top. There we go. Okay, that worked out really well. Preordain. I don't really like preordain being unbanned. Just, just putting that out there. Um, uh, sure. Send the deck. Play ledger shredder. Play this. Yeah, I'll discard a land here. I know that doesn't help Shredder. But now yeah, the Bolt Shredder. Like, I don't know. Are you supposed to discard? Like, I mean, these cards are so good. Okay, they're not going to Bolt Shredder. These cards are so good with, you know, they have a Chandler coming. They're just so good with uh, what's in my hand. You know, I got three mana, three cards I can play next turn. I mean, I don't see how this could go wrong. You know? Okay, and that makes it even better. Well, maybe. I don't know. It's so difficult to figure out what to do. I'm an extremely good spot. I hope so. All right. So. I do like that Fury. <sighs> Lord. Yeah, I guess I'll put Chandler in. I mean, it's got to be Chandler, right? Because Fury is just so good here. Give it a DRC. Yeah, I mean, that's what I thought. Chandler, right? And now I can play Expressive Iteration. And then if I need to, I can bolt that. Right? I mean, it's very tough, Gage. How are you doing, man? I just, everything seems like so, like, you're just playing kind of like randomly. It's just like you're going through cards and you're just kind of hoping you find the right card at the right time. It's so strange. What do you do with that one? You put Counterspell in the graveyard. It's a challenging deck. And it just, at times, it feels like really stupid and weird. But other times, you know, when you're churning through and you can find the shit you need to find, you're like, man, this deck's amazing. Oh, man, can you feel it? Can you dig it? All right. Expressive iteration. Okay. Uh, for sure. Hand, bottom, exile. I want to save this Mistress Bobbles. I want to bolt this now. All right. No need to go in and just wait and bait the counter spell. I don't, I didn't have a counter spell.
Yeah, I guess you can do Murktide now, right? Uh, I'll force of negation that. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. Just throw the land in because there's no way to survive that. So, sure. The thing is, is what if I do Expressive Iteration, Final Land, plus Murktide? I mean, that could be a huge swing there. So I guess I'll try that. Uh, well, I do find a land. Maybe it's unlicensed hers, right? So, oh, oh hand, bottom, exile, play this, play hers. Use hers. Wait. They only have two. I'll take those. Zero on top. What's one on top there? Okay, I guess we bolt. Cast. All right. I think it was better for me to try and uh, Exile more stuff at their graveyard? I don't know. Maybe it's pointless at this point. It's not good. They shock in a steam vein vents and then play expressive iteration. It can only be bad things here. <sighs> okay. Preordain coming, that's great. Aggressive consider, I mean, whatever. <laughs> I mean, at some point, this thing's almost lethal, right? Right now, it'd be a 6-6. Six, six. Okay, that's good if they have a Merc Tide. I'm down with that. Wow, preordain into preordain. So many artworks are preordained. I did not know there was that many. I only knew the artwork I used. I don't know if I've ever seen another different one. 
All right, so this is where things would get dangerous. I'm going to try and cast this fury on that. Um, yes. All right. Get those preordains. And they not have a lightning bolt there. All right, we're going to go for it. Ugh. Is it better? I, I I mean, they can't unholy heat this, right? I mean, they, they could return it. I think it's safe to fire this up. Because this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's not lethal, so maybe it's not safe. Yeah, I'll just try with the, the Fury here. Because I still want to keep taking cards out of their graveyard. Yeah, you're right. You could have cast in the fire or any. You could have uh, any artifact destroying red card. He's got Shatterstorm. That was like one of the oldest cards still seen play. Okay. You want to keep them off Delirium so they can't heat the Fury? Well, my plan is to maybe... Um, you know, just Ottawara them back. You know, I mean, maybe you're right. Maybe I should have kept them off, off that. But are they still on Delirium? No, they're not. Okay. I know I have an island still left. Return. Uh, yeah, just play Fury here, right? Yeah. Eh, maybe cute to uh, also play Ledger Shredder. Do Ledger first. Then Fury. And then hopefully it's not a land. It's not. Okay, so that means even if they find a way to kill Fury, I still have a way to turn this on. Okay, I can't pay for that. True. Swing for 10. All right. All right, that was game two. Time for game three. Yeah, playing that ledger first was big. That was a good draw, because then it allowed me to play Fury, which made, as long as I didn't get a, the, the, that would have been a problem if I drew a land. That's the one that would have been just absolutely horrible, is the top deck land, discard, and ledger trade doesn't do anything. Then that would have been an absolute disaster. Flying is for the weak. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'll keep this. Looks good. All right, more lands. Uh, 
to see they got a spell snare. They do not. Surveil. Put in graveyard. Try to get delirium as fast as possible. Look at this, they're hiding from me. Fine. Oh, st oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's it's it has to be exactly two. Yeah, Stern Scolding's the new one that does two or less. Ledger Shredder, okay. All right, let's draw a card, I guess. See what they're doing. We have a Mistress Bobble. And we'll draw uh, two islands. Uh, we will bolt here. Another Preordain. Um... I almost kind of want to leave that on top. Because I'm struggling so bad with lands. I'll, I'll leave it on top. Bolt there. Shock here. Play another one. Ah, maybe I was wrong because now I'm going to do this. And just leave it leave it on top, I guess. Well, I played this deck before, Gage, but I appreciate you stopping by. It's basically a new deck to me because I'm not very good with it and I'm always constantly confused. They had like a Fury plus a Bolt here, that'd be insane. And it's another different Ledger Shredder. I need to find... Um, I need to find like... You know, they see I have a Preordain coming. I have another Mishra's Bobble? Okay. Oh, man. Nice. Hell yeah. Alright, let's... Uh... Let's shock again. Let's blast that. Top. Top. Fuck. Yeah, just swing for six, I guess. I want to draw that... I guess just leave it on top. Well, I just preordained, so there was no point, I guess, but. All right, well, there we go. Boom! Wow. All right, well, I'm slowly trying to figure this out. I guess the idea was to not preordain there because I already knew I, I wanted to draw that. And then I could have played, I would have drawn it for turn, then played an island. Played preordain and then been able to get through more stuff. So yeah, that was a mistake there. But I managed to somehow rumble, bumble, and stumble. Thank you kindly, Neron Three for the fall. I really appreciate that. Uh, I know you're watching me live right now, but where are you from and what your what is your favorite format? That's my questions I always ask. Uh, 
new followers and such here on Twitch. All right, currently one and one, playing a very confusing and challenging deck, but when it starts running, it's like Grixis Death Shadow. Like I played Grixis Death Shadow for quite a while, and it took a long time for me to figure out what to do. Like it seriously. And then but once I started getting comfortable with it, I played it like six months straight almost. Then it was like, oh my god, this thing's insane sometimes. But it's still tough. Especially back then. With the Lurus Dash Grixis Shadow was like super easy to play. Play modern from Italy. Wow, well, uh, what do they say in Italy? I don't I don't know. Uh, pizza. Um I probably gotta mold this. Play Legacy for many years. Competitive EDH. I think mulling this is correct. I'm not a fan. This is much better. Um, yeah, put Counterspell on bottom. Oh, that can't be good. A, a flip land. All right, I'm going to lead off on a Ragavan. What could be better than Ragavan and Modern Horizons 3? Think about that. Wow, a dismember? What the hell? All right, well. Now I got a basic island just in case something weird's happening over there. The ledger shredder. You know, I opened up like a case of Streets of New Capenna. Like, and I never pulled one Ledger Shredder. Oh. It's this. All right. So, draw a card. Other Merv, we got Ward 1. Okay. Force of negation, force of negation. I guess I'll get rid of this spell, Pierce. What? No, I don't want to draw. Okay. And I do not have delirium right this moment, but I will. They have a Voldalen hex catcher. Plus one, plus one. Tavern the counter. Okay. All right, swing for two. The other merfolk have ward. This way at least control two other merfolk. Okay, so let's see how many they have here. This thing's got flash too. Okay. They have spell pierce. I mean, there's a lot of problems potentially here. Um, I 
Can we just start with Unholy Heat, right? Just in case they have Spell Pierce? I mean, I don't know. Like, I mean, what's it matter? If they have Spell Pierce, they don't even... I don't even have to... It's just like, what the hell? Um, so yeah, we just... Uh... Oh, other... This doesn't include itself. Okay. Okay, man. Okay, now I'll do Chandler... Discarding Chandler. Preordain. Put in the graveyard. Uh, bottom. Bottom? I mean, I don't know. Yeah, probably bottom there. Swing for three. Right, you had to go fast. Look, I have flyers. They're all flying right now. Can't block it. Ugh. No, 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 no. Let's let's attack first cuz I may have to get off delirium here. I'm at five. Preordain, preordain. Unholy heat. Spell pierce. Damn, I can't put it up to an eight eight. And a land. All right, I'm at nine, so hopefully I don't find a bunch of lords here. I mean, they've only got three men. I they've got Aether Vial. Taking at least five. All right, there we go. I think I took out Brotherhood's End. I did. Eek. I do have Unholy Heat. I mean, not Unholy Heat. Well, I do have that. Injured Explosives and Fury. Uh, Stern Scolding. Toughness, two or less. I think that's good enough. LT all these look pretty good. Probably take out the Ragavan. I just don't think Ragavan's gonna get through here. Um dress down? You think I should bring a dress down? I I I'm not really sure what for, but I'll trust you. Uh, spell pierce is probably no good. Uh force negation probably come out. Need all those spell snare blocks lord effect. Oh, I guess that's true, yeah. Um give me one counter spell. Yeah. Let's try that. Okay. Nope. Again, not a fan of having just auto war. If this was like steam vents, maybe. Okay, here, I guess I could try to keep. Yeah, I have preordain in hand. Okay, put Murktide on bottom. Is that all the counter spells? Yeah, I could see that. All right, there's the dreaded Aether Vial. Reap 
preordain. Put on bottom, put on top. Yeah, now I can't even counter him, so. Uh, what a way to hold up Stern. Well, it wouldn't have mattered in the end, Ron, uh, because they're uncounterable now. So, it was probably the correct thought, but luckily or unluckily, um, that just didn't happen. <laughs> uh... Now I'm kind of in some trouble, but I will play Ledger Shredder. And, uh, you know, probably have to play Preordain than Unholy Heat. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I should probably take out the counter spells and bring in, like, um,. Bring in whatchamacallit. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, dude. What the fuck? Now I can still play. Um Yeah, I'm just dead. I mean, this is an insane start. How do Murfro players always have this shit? Like, how do they do it? I can't win here. I'm just dead on the next turn. They have Island Walk. Alrighty, let's just end that one real fast. Um, yeah, counter spells out. Let's bring in um, cast in the fire. Maybe force negation just for. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Like bring an alpine moon? To, no, I mean, that just gets counter... I mean, I don't know. Now they have Chalice of the Void. Yeah, I just do Force Negation if they, if for stuff like that. Why would I want to bring Ragavan back in? I'm on the play? I mean, I guess. They just throw down a one-mana creature. I guess take out... Turn Scolding Spell Snare and try Ragavan? I mean, I don't know how this is going to work. I mean, they're just going to block it. Well, I certainly can't do anything here with that. The mole. Still can't do anything. I think it's just too weak. I mean, a basic island. And we can do this. Um... Redder. Is it unholy heat? I play this. Play. I probably just need to put iteration on the bottom because I need to be able to cast all my spells. Right? I mean, just just go with that. I hope. You know. Is that iteration? Yeah, I mean, my, my thought there was just, what if I can't cast anything? This is probably an Aether Vial. No, okay. Uh, put in Graveyard. Wow, those are both good. Uh, put on top, put on top, draw that. Ah, maybe that was wrong. I don't know. I know I want to keep this on top. Leave it on top. Look at what they're drawing. The Mass of the Pearl Trident. Uh, swing for one. I think I want to keep keep the lightning bolt up. I mean, I could do extra damage here, but I, I really want to keep bolt up to kill their first creature. All right. 
another island. We'll leave that on top. And bottom, top, play, uh, again, swing for one. Okay. Oh my god, dude. Well, since they're tapped out and everything. All right, we're just playing at instant speed. Got to hope that they don't throw down a... Um... Yeah, well, yeah, you're right. I should kill just the lords. There's one. There's the master. Thank you kindly, K305, for the follow. I really appreciate that. Uh, let me know where you're from, what your favorite modern format is. Let's bolt there. Okay. And then I guess consider in the graveyard, get another different land. Um, I want to do this now. They still have three cards in hand. Oh, wait. Okay. Uh, I will gleefully discard this land. All right. They're lining them up. I'm knocking them down. It's kind of fucked. These Aether Vials get through Ledger Shredder. Mm-hmm. What's the one that gives them all ward? Which one is it? I'm just gonna do this now. Get that out of there. I don't I is that one three or four man? I don't remember. Oh my god, yes, yes, I couldn't remember. Alright. Woo! Woo! That was a close one. Got a three, four for, I guess it is like endurance. All right, we're both getting low on cards. I have zero, they have two. This looks bad though. Yeah, that looks bad. Yeah, I mean, I might die here. I mean, I don't know. I need help. It says Island Walk. Unholy Heat. 
Well, I do like that. This has ward. Uh, we just do it now. I do indeed have delirium. I should have done it on the Lord? Why? This thing's always drawing a card. What? Oh my god, yeah, it gets indestructible from the other ones. I always forget about that part. All right, I just lost. <sighs> Fuck, dude. I forgot it has that hidden indestructible shit. I was going to lose regardless because it's just, I cannot, you know, I cannot get there with that, with the, with the legendary motherfucking fat ass one on the field. Like, it's just not possible to get through. They're going to be drawing a card every turn. Like, I'd have to draw in really well here, like expressive iteration into something, into something, into something. You know, it just, it ain't going to happen now. a suicidal blast. Oops. I don't even know if playing paying that. I mean, it doesn't matter here. I, I've lost. I hate playing as Merfolk. Because everyone that plays Merfolk are weird. Like, they're, like, really dedicated to the deck. And, and uh, well, explosives, would, I guess, would have been okay. Yeah, I'm just going to concede. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me today. I'm done. Um, not too bad, not too shabby. Managed to force game three and the two losses. I, I wasn't going to win that one anyways. Like, even if I killed the Murph or Milf, the fat fucking lord, the some bitch dumb fuck, um, they were still just outdrawn me. I mean, you guys saw that they had another... Though I can't remember the other one's name. There's just too many merfolks, man. There's just way too many. But I was getting at the merfolk players. They are bizarre human beings. Like they, they just they play that deck, and and it's just they're all about merfolk. Almost every merfolk player I've ever played in my life has the whole deck foiled out. I used to play against merfolk every week. Every week I'd play against a merfolk player at my locals for like, God, four straight years. I was almost every week playing against that deck. And, uh, you know, I was playing, like, Jund at the time, and it was, like, I usually beat him. I usually got through. But, um, you know, they didn't have a couple of the cards they have now. But, you know, um, I tried. I, I, again, I don't think it would have mattered if I would have killed the right one there, if I would have killed the, the, the Lord. They would have flashed in another one. They would have... They would have drawn another card which was another merfolk as we saw there there's nothing i could do just nothing i could do in your explosives may have bought me like i don't think it would have bought me any time like i don't think there was any way to win just another one where it's just no matter what you do you lose um so anyways guys it's gonna do it for me uh, let me do some shout outs here uh, shout outs to neuron three uh ron camp 08 uh Thek gauge Manure Butt and the MDG Butt and the Night Bar for Human Company. I really appreciate that, guys. Special shout-outs here to Neuron3 and K305 for the follows. That's really awesome. Thank you guys so much. If you did watch this on Twitch, please start following. Watch this on YouTube. You can please uh, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. That'd be great. Um, you can follow me on Twitter, which I guess you can. I've never really understood what Twitter is for my whole life. Um... Preordain is insane, Manure Bud. It's, like, absolutely an insane card. Like, it was the best card, I think, all day. Like, straight up. I mean, that's why you can run 17 lands now. You have a Steam Vents or a Scalding Tarn or a Fetch Land in hand or Spiral Bluff Canal. As long as it's not a basic island, you can play that Preordain without fear, right? Because you know that you've already got both colors of mana. And you can find either color cards off of it, and it's, like, insane. I mean, and even if you need another land, which I 
which I did that one time. I just put both on bottom and top deck to land off it. I mean, it was like, it's a really good card. I mean, it's really good. And uh, I think that it may be a problem in the future someday. You know, I personally don't really like things coming off ban list usually. I mean, I'm one to talk because Blood Raid Elf came off the ban list and I love Blood Raid Elf. Um, but generally they're on there for a reason. Blood Raid was only on there because of Death Rite Shaman. They fucked up. They banned Blood Raid before Death Rite. And then they realized another six months later or whatever it was, like, oh, damn, that wasn't the problem at all. Like, no, dude. Death Rite Shaman's insane. I bet you if you, they released Death Rite Shaman on the ban list right now, it'd be a problem card. I guarantee you it. You know, people don't understand how problematic that card was. Because it not only does it, you know, get, it, not only is it a ramper, you know, a, a mana door, it's got two toughness, which we've seen people complain about Delighted Halfling's two toughness for a one mana mana door recently. And also, obviously, it, it filters life, right? It gains life, loses life. Um, and also, it messes with opponent's graveyard. People don't realize how good that card was for just randomly having graveyard hate attached to it. I mean, that was like the card. And I still think it would be one of the cards if it was around. Um, so yeah, guys, that's going to do it for me. Like I said, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thanks for watching me rumble, bumble, and stumble through all this. It's always challenging for me. I am a really bad blue player. Luckily, I can lean a little bit on the lightning bolts. <laughs> you know, one the, a card I've leaned on my whole life. And it was good blood mooning today, too. That was a good blood moon, even though I had no idea what I was doing against Warza. Or whatever the hell that deck was. So, all right, guys. Enough rambling. Uh, everyone be safe out there. Eat some good foods. I will be back tomorrow at 4 p.m. Pacific time for more of this. I did forget to say that I will not be here Friday. I actually have family plans. For the first time in a while, I've got real legitimate plans to hang out with my family and do fun stuff with them. Other than, you know, all, all I've been doing is playing Magic. And yeah, the RCQ season's coming up. I will be trying out Rakdos Midrange for the first time in several, well, not several years. The first time in a couple years, uh, I will be playing a deck I think that's a lie. I think I, I think I played Abzan once in an RCQ, just for the hell of it, and it did okay. Um, but this would be the first time besides that one random Abzan where I would be taking a deck other than Gruul Ponza mid-range to an RCQ. I'll be taking the two on September 9th and 10th, and uh, we'll see how it goes. And if it goes terrible, if I go like like horribly bad even after practicing with a deck for a week, um, I'll probably just run back to Ponza because I know how to play Ponza like really well even though it's basically like if people describe it as a tier 5 deck but whatever alright guys enough rambling I'm sorry about the rambling here but I'm just trying to I, I forgot to explain this stuff at the beginning um, so I'll probably explain it again tomorrow at the beginning um, sorry guys everyone be safe out there eat some good food drink some good beverages my wife is making a delicious Velveeta skillet uh, beef stroganoff one of my favorite flavors one of the baby's favorite flavors my kids love it and uh, I'm really excited to run down the hall in a couple seconds here and go devour. Um, so, yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. And, of course, peace!